Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Sauce. Got a few videos up, dropping another one right here. Uh, we got an SEC East battle here, Georgia, South Carolina. Let's go. Welcome to The Sauce. The Sauce. Get the Suez. All right, Georgia on the road at South Carolina here. The line opened up Gamecocks plus 24. And as expected, the entire world's on Georgia. 99% of the money is on the Bulldogs as of Monday morning. So as you would expect, the action stays on Georgia. Still, everyone's on Georgia. Books do move the line, goes from 24 to 24 and a half. Now here we are on Friday night, it's at 25. So we're looking at South Carolina plus 25. So let's cap this game. If you subscribe to this channel, you already know the first step. We're running the numbers through the spreadsheet. According to the analytics, look at this one. Uh, the, the line for this game should be, according to the model, South Carolina plus 49 and change. Now keep in mind, the model doesn't take into consideration um, like Georgia pulling starters or Georgia just calling run plays at the end. So basically that's telling us if these two teams play hard for four quarters, it should be a 49 point spread, which makes sense. So let's break down this matchup. And honestly, I can tell you the first thing that came to my mind is, yo, how the hell is the South Carolina defense gonna stop the Georgia run game? Well, to be fair, how is anybody gonna stop the Georgia anything at this point, right? Uh, but in this particular matchup, how are the Gamecocks, how is the Gamecocks, Gamecocks run defense gonna stop the Bulldogs rushing attack? Keep in mind, this is a South Carolina defense that just got run all over by Arkansas. The Razorbacks rushed for 295 yards against South Carolina. Then the week before that, Georgia State ran for 200 yards against the Gamecocks on an even 5.0 yards per carry. Now they're playing Georgia, who A, is probably the best team in the country right now, maybe, and B, has put forth a top 25 rushing attack for, I don't know, two decades? Georgia entered the year with a preseason top five ranked offensive line again, as expected. One thing I will give you is this may be a rare year where Georgia doesn't have a running back who's a Heisman Trophy candidate, um, but they got guys who can run the ball. Kendall Milton, they got that guy back in Taj is pretty nice. Um, they have another dude, Edwards. I don't know too much about him, but he's been there for a couple of years. He had three touchdowns last year, it said. Basically, the point I'm making is it's Georgia. They got running backs. They'll be fine. Trust me. Uh, we also have to add in, yo, Stetson Bennett has been damn near perfect this season. He was so good in week one against Oregon. So good. And then last week he was perfect again, but they played some children of the corn team. Basically, he's been perfect since the season started. As far as South Carolina goes, there is one positive talking point, and it's a solid one. Yo, Spencer Rattler last week against Arkansas showed signs of really getting comfortable in the pocket, threw for 376 yards on 9.6 yards per attempt. Not only was South Carolina throwing the ball, they were throwing the ball with success, and they were throwing the ball with success down the field, 9.6 yards per attempt. Now, to be fair, the Arkansas pass defense has <laughs> shown it could definitely be shaky at times. Arkansas secondary is definitely not Georgia's secondary. Arkansas's pass rush is definitely not Georgia's pass rush. But I think Shane Beamer is gonna coach this game without any fear. I mean, if you think about it, what does he really have to lose? It's not really like anyone's expecting him to beat Georgia this year. I think he's gonna take shots down the field on this Georgia secondary. Not that I think the South Carolina offense is gonna rip the top of the Georgia defense. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, when you have a coach who's calling plays like that, who's coaching without fear, I mean, Spencer Rattler's got a big arm. It, th there's some danger involved. I mean, if they connect on a couple of those early, could change the pace of the whole game. Personally, I am gonna put my faith in the Georgia defense though. Um, I think those deep shots that Shane Beamer's probably gonna take with Spencer Rattler, I think they'll result in a key turnover early and I think Georgia should have no problem. So the last question is, how am I gonna bet this game? And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna protect myself a little bit against the backdoor cover. Um, so I'm gonna take Georgia two ways. I'm gonna take the first half minus 14 and a half, and then I'm gonna take them again full game minus 25. That way we get hit with the backdoor cover. If we were on the right side, at least we'll split even. If anything changes with these bets, I will let you know on Twitter. So give me a follow there if you're interested. Um, also, if you want the college football ticket for Saturday, which is bet of the day, underdog of the day, I have the top seven bets and three parlays of the day, as well as a full VIP ticket. Picks for every single game. Uh, make sure you download the Sauce Network app or go to kylekerms.com. College football Saturday, week three is here. Let's reel in some units. I'll talk to you on Twitter.